Hey guys, it's Dan Mice, and welcome to New Let's Play. And this Let's Play is on the GameCube. Again. <laughs> and yep, got some monkey balls, yo. Created by Sega Navy. Bananas, bananas, banana. This shit is banana speed. QL, oh no, let's not do that. Rip off, okay. Yeah, we just gotta watch this little cut theme. Which is a cool cut theme. Well, a little intro, I guess. Kind of. Yep, one third space in Monkey Ball. Okay, so, um. Let's get started. Okay, so this playthrough will be me basically playing through the main game, most of it, which, um, as you can see, uh, the little guy there says, make sure to guide the monkeys in the balls to the gods as quick as possible. Oh uh, yeah, I was doing some practice last night at expert levels. <laughs> okay, normal mode. This will be a one-player game, but there's chances in the future that I'll do, like, little LMAO sort of co-op co on this game, because it is pretty fun to do. But this one should be a solo LP. Uh, and there's four characters, there's Ai Ai, Mimi, Baby and Gongon. Gon. I like these three, I'm not a fan of Gongon, Gon, but there you go. And next we've got Beginner, Advanced and Expert. These are um, one of the three difficulty ranges. And Beginner's got 10 stage, Advanced are you expert 50 as it says there. I'll basically play through each mode, every like one mode of video. So the beginner first video, advanced second. And then expert already spell over two videos because it is long. Especially for me if I'm not like good at it. But um, anyway, this video will be me covering the beginner and the basics of the game effectively. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, let me just tell you what's on the screen right now. As you can see, there's a bomb at the top, that's your timer, so there's 60 seconds in this level. In the top left there's your score, which is how many points you get. The points are calculated by how long you complete it, how quick you complete a level basically. The two monkey heads, those are your lives. You have um, three lives per continue. I'll talk about continues later on when we get the expert, I guess. <laughs> okay, bananas in the top right corner. If you get 100 bananas, you get an extra life. And then the bottom left, that just shows you your floor and how many, how quick you're going. Alright, so let's get started. Also, see in the bottom right corner there, that's actually the map. Which basically shows you where you're going. Interesting fact, you don't actually control the monkey, you tilt the floor in this game. Like you floor too. Now I don't know if you can I need something to show you. You can see that there's a small platform underneath the level. I'm gonna show you this quickly. Can you see there's a seek there's a green goal down there. That's basically like a secret goal. Um, later on like in the paper I'll be doing a little paper of every secret goal. And on shortcuts in this game. Okay, 4-4. Four, four. Speedrun strats. Hardly, I mean, it's not that hard. I see, the goal, the, your score's calculated by how you come in level. So you get points of coming level in the first place. But you get a time bonus if you come in level within half, like, of the stage. For example, like, 60 seconds, if you come in within 30, you then come in level. And same for 30 second levels, if you do it within 15 seconds, then you come in level. Like, and you get the time bonus. Anyway, um, every, the fifth stage of every world is a bonus stage. And uh, the bonus stage is a chance to get pick up like bananas, basically. It's obviously a chance to get lives, effectively. Okay, 
Okay, four six. We're in a new zone, like a new zone now. Actually, the first zone was like a grassy type zone. I don't know what type of zone this is. It's like a mountainside kind of. I was quite like a mountain ruin type zone. But anyway, yeah. The point is, I was go down these little slopes. The first four, five levels were easy. I don't know if I count the bonus, the bonus stage as a level. But the first four levels are easy. Now, the six to ten were basically, like, they're easy, but they'll just talk you some... They'll introduce, they'll introduce you to new gimmicks, which you'll come fami more familiar with in advance and um, expert. Such as those slopes there. This one, they're climbing up the ramp slightly. I mean, they get steep as you go up this little area. Like, you'll get used to them in, like, the harder mode, climbing up and stuff. Especially steeper stuff. Floor it's like kind of all about timing because as the platforms are separate. And you basically just gotta like go across to the other side. Anyway, you see those shimmers plug the goal right here. I mean they actually made the bananas for this game, or they, they had like rights for this game. I was getting 4780 on that uh, level. Like 4780 something. Okay, 49. Now this is another little gimmick, just because like, you go down, uh, you got like practice like timing, like actually there's a gap between the two platforms, but with enough momentum you go over that gap, so you got to learn to control it. And uh, 4-10, the final floor, this is the trickiest one, because um, you get used to this in advance and expert, going across like thinner bridges, technically. Whoa, 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 say I, I don't want to fall off on this stage. And then the last, like, Kelly Bridge. There's actually different variations to this level as you go across through the game. And there we go. I can do that quicker, but, like, I just don't want to die, basically. <laughs> okay, so, um, begin the 10th done. Now, every time you complete a, a difficulty without, uh, miss, like, without dying, you get to play the extra stages. Now, there's actually three extra stages for beginner. And then you get transformed in like out of space for the extra stages. The extra one isn't that bad. The extra two can be weird. weird. Let's look, you're letting it look that easy. No, not quite. The, there's the time, there's like a time frame, and I have to go do this thing. There we go. I almost missed that as well, I just saved it. Okay, and there's only three extra stages in beginner, so this is the final floor. And as you see, it's just a giant AV sign. Now this stage puts me off because of how glossy the floor is. Like, sometimes I'm there like, where am I? But, there we go, I did I dying. So no death run so far. I've said that, it is beginner, so I'd be disappointed if I did die. You got 63 points. Points in the high school. <laughs> really? Nice glitch. Well, I can't in beginner, can I? Anyway, after you do this, you get introduced to the credits. Well, um, I'll play a little. Bit, I'll play from a little bit, but then I'll quit out. Now, I think so. You can't actually quit out of them. Per se, you've actually got a like, there's like a little um, button code that allows you to create out of them. But yeah, basically to avoid the fallen letters, every time you get hit by a letter you lose like 10 bananas. I actually haven't done this in so long, so I always skip it. Still, I'm gonna go avoid him. As soon as I get hit, then I'll stop. Oh, there you go. Ugh. I mean, I've never actually completed this um, credits without actually getting hit. Ah. Uh. That's tough to avoid. 
But anyway, if you press the LR button and A, that means you'll stop in the middle. Oh, that, that's good because like the credits annoy me sometimes. Do I have a high score or I doubt it because I stopped on floor two just to show you stuff, so I don't think I will. We'll see. Yep. Yeah, I didn't get a high score. Select game. Remember, I think my high scores being options, weren't they? I don't know. Yeah, here I am. The thing is, though, there's like a default thing at first, which annoys me still. Oh. Uh, anyway, I'll um, see you guys next video for the playthrough of Advanced. See you then.